It's nighttime in the big city. A truck driver runs a red light. A strange, quiet man practices Tai Chi in the park. It's theme time radio hour with your host, Bob Dylan. Welcome to theme time radio hour. Tonight, we're going to visit the big house, the brig, the clink, the coop, the gray bar hotel, the hooskow, the joint, the jug, the pen, the pokey, the slammer, the stir. We're talking about jail, a real hush-hush subject where everybody is hurting for someone or something. We're going to learn about cons, jailbirds, stoolies, lifers, new fish, and politicians. Prison, a house of many doors. Located in Reprisa, California, Folsom State Prison was one of America's first maximum security prisons. In 1968, Johnny Cash recorded a live album there. Here's the original version of Folsom Prison Blues from 1956 on Sun Records. <laughs> sunshine since I don't know when I'm stuck in Folsom prison and time keeps dragging on but that train keeps rolling on down to San Antonio when I was just a baby my mama told me son always be a good boy don't ever play with guns but I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. When I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head and cry. There's rich folks eating in a fancy dining car They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars Well, I know I had it coming I know I can't be free But those people keep them moving And that's what tortures me Folsom Prison Blues by Johnny Cash. Johnny said he wrote the line, I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die because he was trying to think of the worst reason for killing another person. He added, it did come to mind quite easily though. When Johnny Cash first performed at San Quentin, Merle Haggard was in the audience. And by audience, I mean jail. We'll hear from Merle a little later. Every day in the United States, 200 new jail cells are constructed. I hope we can keep up. Next time, theme time radio hour, we've got Magic Sam, 21 nights of torture, 21 nights of fear, 21 nights in jail, and nobody seems to care. 21 days in jail features an almost rockabilly bass part from Willie Dixon, Magic Sam, the real McCoy, and he's going to take you for a ride. <laughs>
Sam talking about three weeks in jail. Sam was born on Valentine's Day 1937 in the heart of the Mississippi Delta. He died a short 32 years later. Tell you one thing about jail. You're there today and you're there tomorrow. And when they put you in that cell, when those bars slam home, that's when you know it's for real. Old life blown away in the blink of an eye. Nothing left but all the time in the world to think about it. Bessie Smith doesn't want to be in prison either. She caught him with a trifling Jane. She'd warned him before. She caught him with her Barlow knife. Kicked him in the side. She stood there laughing at him while he wallowed around and died. She admits it. She's crazy. She's nutsy. She's unbalanced, unsound, loony, witless and wrong. She has a grave disorder of mind that impairs her capacity to function safely or normally in society. She wants the judge to hear her plea. She don't want any sympathy. She's pleading with the judge to send her to the electric chair. Here's Bessie Smith and her blue boys. Send me to the electric chair.
That was Bessie Smith. She'd rather go to the electric chair. Old Sparky was the name of Florida's electric chair, and Gruesome Gertie was the electric chair of Louisiana. They don't have electric chairs anymore. They threw them out. And even if they did, I don't think they'd name them. All right, a little bit of swamp pop from Louisiana, courtesy of Warren Storm. He got to start in his father's band, the Rainbow Ramblers, but eventually started his own band called the Wee Wows and became one of the biggest voices in swamp pop, which fused R&B, country, Cajun, and Creole, a real grasshopper mixture. And just like Ringo, he's a singing drummer. If I... Like an angel Over these Prison walls I would fly I'd fly To the arms Of my darling And there I would stay Till I die And your own mother When the judge Sentenced me Here to stay It's so cold And so lonely In this prison But for wrong I have done I must be these prison walls I would fly. I'd fly to the arms of my darling, and there I would stay till I die. Warren Storm with a hard-boiled hay burner. Prisoner's song. Wake up in the morning, we'll be good on a bank. We'll be good on a bank. The chain gang is a group of prisoners chained together to perform menial tasks, such as chipping stone, often along a highway. Besides being good punishment, it serves as a deterrent, as you can point them out to people and say, Don't let this be you. Chain gangs been featured in a lot of movies. Perhaps most famously, I am a fugitive from a chain gang. But also, Brother, Where Art Thou? Cool Hand Luke, and the Preston Sturgis classic, Sullivan's Travels. Here's Chrissy Hine and the Pretenders singing their song, Back on the Chain Gang. I found a picture 
picture of you. Check my world at night To a place in the past We've been cast out of oh, Now we're back in the fight We're back on the train Pigeon from hell oh, oh, oh. in our eyes And descended like flies Put us back on the train in the chain gang, Chrissy Hind and the Pretenders, singing about circumstances beyond her control and pigeons from hell. One guy who knew about pigeons from hell was Robert Stroud, the bird man of Alcatraz, who spent his entire time in prison learning about birds, their breeding, and diseases. We sure could use him now with the bird flu. William Shakespeare wrote about jails in his play Julius Caesar. Cassius in the first act says, Nor stony tower, nor walls of beaten brass, Nor airless dungeon, nor strong links of iron, Can be retentive to the strength of spirit. But life, being weary of these worldly bars, Never lacks power to dismiss itself. William Shakespeare, deaf poet. While we're on the subject of Williams, Here's Andre Williams, a little song about forbidden fruit. Andre Williams was born in Chicago, Illinois, and got his start in Detroit, singing with a group called the Don Wines. He sooner revealed himself to be quite a singer and producer, as well as a great songwriter, writing songs like Bacon Fat, The Greasy Chicken, and this one called Jailbait, which talks about a rough temptation, but a common invitation, a good association, but a quick limitation. That will take you out of circulation. He's talking about that younger generation. Andre Williams, jailbait. <laughs> I 
I'm running. Yes, before it's too late. Trying to get away from that jail bag. It's a rough temptation, but a common invitation and a good association, but a quick elimination that will take you out of circulation. Yes, I'm talking about that younger generation. So take my advice, fellas, for goodness sake. 15, 16, 17, that's jail bait. Now they swear that they're in love, that you and her are my stars above, and she's looking mighty good, just like a young girl should. We try to tell you no, and let that young girl go, but you, you know it all. Have yourself a ball And now that it is too late As you look from cell number eight I tried to tell you a mate Seventeen and a half is still jail bait So tomorrow's the date For the trial of jail bait and this you watch and see The young girl will go free And you'll get one to three So out the door she walks To another man she talks Before you can count From one to eight Another man in for jail bay. Please, Mr. Judge, you can just let me go this time. I ain't gonna mess with them young girls no more. I swear I ain't gonna bother no more, Mr. Judge. I ain't gonna bother none 15. I ain't gonna bother none 16. I ain't gonna bother none 17. I ain't gonna mess with none 18. I'm gonna leave that 20 year old ones alone too. I'm gonna get my girl about 42. If you just believe what I say, let me go, Mr. Judge. Please, Mr. Judge, I ain't gonna bother the young girls no more. Give me a break, Mr. Judge. Please, Mr. Judge. Trumpets or elephants at the end of that record, but I do know it was Andre Williams. Jailbait. 15, 16, 17. That's jailbait. Watch out for that jailbait, fellas. To continue our prison sentence here on Theme Time Radio Hour, here's a song that's really off the wall. Prison Wall Blues. Cannon's Jug Stompers. Great thing about jug bands is they're not just blues bands. They play blues rags, breakdowns, vaudeville songs, minstrel music, and so much more. Gus Cannon, one of the best known of all jug band musicians, made himself a special harness so he could wear his jug around his neck and play banjo at the same time. Gus spent a lot of time in Beale Street in Memphis, playing places like the Red Light, the Blue Light, the Hole in the Wall, and the Monarch which was also known as the Castle of Missing Men. Some of them missing men probably ended up behind prison walls. But we got the perfect song for him. Gus Cannon talking about the white mule made him act like a pop-eyed clown. And now his head is hanging down. Prison Wall Blues, Cannon's Jug Stoppers. <laughs> White mule made me act a pop-eyed clown Now I've got no time to lose When they bring you through that gate You wish you hadn't have done it, but it's just too late But you might as well laugh The partner when it falls out Howlin' won't get you from behind these walls This wall blues keep 
Here's Kenny Lane and his Bulldogs, they're from somewhere in Tennessee. One of the forgotten rockabilly greats, the second fiddle to nobody. The mist of time has obscured his past. All we know for sure is that he also recorded a version of Froggy Went A-Courtin'. Here he's taking a golden opportunity with an old folk song, giving it a lick and a promise, and going into orbit in a rockabilly way. Columbus Stockade Blues. Kenny Lane and his Bulldogs. We hit down. Thank you. 
Kenny Lane and his bulldogs ringing the gong with Columbus Stockade Blues. In Columbus, Ohio, there were 5,925 violent crimes in 2004. 88 of them murders. I hope they have a big stockade. We're about halfway through our sentence here on Theme Time Radio Hour, and there'll be no time off for good behavior. The smooth voice of Joe Simon singing a song by Dan Penn. Joe was able to mix R&B and country in a uniquely southern style and have a number of hits in the process, including this one, the song about stealing, knowing he done wrong, but his woman's needs makes him ashamed. He steals for love. Now he's got to say good morning to that old nine-pound steal. Through these bars I see the sun Got to say good morning to a night I'm still Listen to me now, they got me working That was Joe Simon swinging that old nine-pound hammer. Joe eventually retired from acting performing and gave it the brush off and devoted his life to the church. Amen, Joe. Will Rogers said, There's no more independence in politics than there is in jails. Harry Truman said, The White House is the finest prison in the world. Nelson Mandela said, In my country, we go to prison first and then become president. Jimmy Patton put it another way. Okie's in the pokey. Hey! Okie's in the pokey! Well, Okie's in the pokey and we like the time. Okie's in the pokey for some different time. Everybody now from jail to jail. No poor Okie in the county jail. He didn't know the custom of a pokey girl. Okie didn't know he was breaking the law. He just loved the liquor to cross the line.
Christmas in prison and the food being real good. Turkeys and pistols carved out of wood. He wants to play a chess game with someone he admires. He's thinking about a picnic in the rain after a prairie fire. John captures the isolation and loneliness of celebrating Christmas away from your loved ones. Sometimes it's not such a bad thing. Here's John Prine. Christmas in prison and the food was real good we had turkey and pistols carved out of wood and I dream of her always even when I don't dream her name's on my tongue and her blood's in my strain wait a while eternity oh my nature's got nothing on me me, run to me, come to me now We're rolling, my sweetheart, we're blowing by God Of a chess game with someone I admire Or a picnic in the rain After a prairie fire Her heart is as big as This whole goddamn jail And she's sweeter than saccharin At a drugstore safe Wait a while, eternity Old mama nature's got nothing on me Run to me, come to me now We're rolling, my sweetheart We're flowing by God Searchlight in the big yard swings round with the gun and spotlights, snowflakes like the dust in the sun. It's Christmas in prison, there'll be music tonight. I'll probably get homesick. I'll love you, good night. Wait a while, eternity. Oh, my nature's got nothing on me. To me, run to me, come to me now. We're rolling, my sweetheart. We're flowing back up. John Prine, born in Maywood, Illinois. John was discovered by Chris Christopherson when he was a mailman. The right guy at the right time. Probably delivered his mail to him, I don't know. Chris never answered my letters. Speaking of letters, we recently received an email. Shelley Ferguson from Las Vegas, Nevada. Shelley writes, My boyfriend and I are having an argument. He says the Sir Douglas Quintent were not from England at all. I say he's crazy. What do you say? 
Well, Shelly, I'm sorry. Your boyfriend's right. The Sir Douglas Quintet are from San Antonio, Texas. Their producer, Huey P. Moe, a real gut bucket guru of a producer, decided to say they were from England to cash in on the British invasion. But it was a cock and bull story. They weren't from England at all. Here's the Sir Douglas Quintet singing in the jailhouse now. That was the Sir Douglas Quintet, the greatest little English group from San Antonio, Texas, led by Doug Somm, featuring Augie Myers on the box organ. Doug was a child prodigy. He turned down a spot on the Grand Ole Opry in order to finish junior high school. As a youth, he performed on stage with Hank Williams. Over the course of his career, he combined country, blues, R&B, Mexican conjunto, norteño, and Cajun music, along with British Invasion rock and roll, garage rock, and even a little bit of psychedelic, into music which could only be called pure Doug Sum. In Doug's band was Augie Myers. Augie learned how to play piano in a crazy way. He was raised by his grandparents, and they didn't want him to wander off, so they tied a six-foot rope to him and tied the other end to their family piano. Augie, realizing he couldn't go anywhere, hung around the piano and learned how to play it, and we're glad he did. Yamagama Gumaluma, this is Pete Wolf, and you're listening to Bob Dylan and Theme Time Radio Hour. The Mississippi Sheiks were one of the most popular string bands of the late 20s and early 30s. They had songs which really put the screws to you. Formed in Jackson, Mississippi by Walter Vinson and fiddle player Lonnie Chapman, along with Bo Carter and Sam Chapman. They recorded over 60 songs for the Bluebird label, including this one, The Jailbird Love Song, which will hit you right in the kisser. I didn't know nobody that I'd seen I was walking 
walking along the street one day. I didn't mean no harm. The police took up and seen me, and they began to make their law. I did it all, I did it all. Just looking through the bar. Jailbird Love Song, the Mississippi Sheiks right here. They're talking about being a stranger in town, but soon a police had them surrounded, and the police are making up their own laws. The term jailbird comes from old England, when criminals used to be placed in cages, hanging three feet off the ground. People would call these captured criminals jailbirds. They are women jailbirds, too, like this one. She's serving time at Tehachapi. It's five in the morning, and she's sleeping in her cell. She just heard a whistle blow, and then she heard somebody yell. There's a riot going on. Here's Wanda Jackson singing like a Saturday Night Special. On July the 2nd, 1953, I was serving time in Tehachapi. Four o'clock in the morning, I was sleeping in my cell. I heard a whistle blow, and I heard... up in cell block number four spread like fire across the prison floor warden came in with a big tommy gun bang 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 trying to stop my gun but there's a riot going on there's a riot going on there's a riot going on up in cell block number nine With your hands up in the air You don't stop this ride You all gonna get the chair Two gun Matilda said It's too late to quit Pass the dynamite Molly Cause man this music There's a ride going on There's a ride going on There's a ride going on Up in cell block number nine State militia to help them win the fight. Drove up to the prison in the middle of the night. Each and ever trooper, he looked so tall and fine. All the chicks went crazy up in cell block number nine. Now there's a riot going on. There's a riot going on. There's a riot going on. Up in cell block number nine. 
That was Wanda Jackson, the pride of Maude, Oklahoma, shaking a leg and taking an R&B song and making it rockabilly. Wanda Jackson, an atomic fireball of a lady, could have a smash hit with just about anything. While we couldn't do a show about jail without talking about Merle Haggard, a man who turned his life around, walked out of the jail cell, went into public acclaim. Here's a quotation from Chairman Merrill. Sing Me Back Home is a popular song because there's a lot of ex-convicts in America that, that uh, form a troop of fans that want to hear that song. And it's funny, all, all ex-convicts have something in common. They, they've got their time in and, and the rest of you have still got yours to do. Down the hallway to his doom And I stood up to say goodbye like all the rest And I heard him tell the warden Just before he reached my cell Let my guitar play in friend to my request let him sing me back home For the song I used to hear Make my old memories come alive Take me away And turn back the years Call that Sunday morning A choir from off the street Came in to sing a few old gospel songs And I heard him tell the singers There's a song my mama sang Could I hear it once before you move along Won't you sing me back home With the song I used to hear Make my old memories come alive Take me away And turn back the years sing me back home before I die sing me back home before I die that was Merle Haggard singing one of his greatest songs sing me back home while Merle was in the lockup he was friends with Carol Chessman, who was put to death on May 2nd, 1960. They dropped the cyanide into the chamber, and as the lethal gas was rising up, the telephone in the execution room rang. It was the secretary from the judge's office calling with the ninth stay of execution. Unfortunately, she had dialed the wrong prison first, and it was too late for Carol Chessman. The warden led a prisoner down the hallway to his doom, and I stood up to say goodbye like all the rest. Perhaps that prisoner was Carol Chessman. Time is running out, so we might as well be talking about our last meal. You can order anything you want for your last meal. Here are some famous ones. Ted Bundy had a steak medium rare, hash browns and coffee. Joan of Arc had Holy Communion, and Victor Fedyer had a single olive. Hurricane Harry has a list of things he wants for his last meal. Give a listen. Now I heard the warden say, I had one more day, one last meal before they let me away. And he said, if we ain't got it, we'll go out and get it. You don't have to go till we come back with it. So I said, give me two dinosaurs, eggs over easy, fried sugar, boy, not too greedy. 
mosquito me. Black eyed peas and a little bit of bowl of butter, be by beef. A saber tooth, a tiger stick, a whole hippopotamus, well baked. Two cross eyed catfish and some wavy gravy in the left hand dish. Now go and get my dinner, go and get my Cup of crap, a down deal, a purple watermelon, and an alligator pill, a bottle of mellow mountain mist, and a female banana. I can't resist. Now go and get my dinner. Go and get my dinner. You ain't got it. Go out and get it. I ain't going till you come back. A barbecue and brick of chocolate ice cream. Bring me a plate of stewed moon bean. Now go and get my dinner. Go and get my dinner. Hey, Mr. Watt, you better hear my feel. I can't go without my last meal. Hurricane Harry had the most unusual menu planned for his last meal, but most prisoners have simpler tastes. The number one choice is fried chicken and fries. Nobody's worried about their cholesterol at that point. Number two is hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Number three, steak and fries. And coming in at number four, pizza and fries. Everybody loves fries. Well, the time's just flown by, which it doesn't do in prison, which means we got to go for another week. Let me just remind you that some people will rob you with a six gun and some with a fountain pen. Nowadays they may use computers, but no matter how they do it, they're all gonna end up in the same place, behind bars. You stay on the straight and narrow, and I'll see you next week, right here on Theme Time Radio Hour, 10-4.